for today's video. We are shooting 152 grain Lehigh Defense 30 caliber controlled chaos. We'll be shooting them out of a 308 Winchester today. First shots will be reduced load simulating long range. I'll flip the blocks and shoot a high velocity load. Definitely got decent expansion on that. We have shed. I can see all, all four pedals in there. Real similar distance. We started opening up at about two and three eighths. You got your good portion of that permanent wound cavity from the two and a half inch mark to just past the nine inch mark. The leading edge of that core is 23 and seven eighths. And those pedals, we got one just shy of 10, another one right at 10, 10 and a quarter, and that lowest one is 10 and 5 eighths. Overall, good looking performing bullet. After the larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is three and three quarters. That bullet impacted the gel at approximately 1,472 feet per second. I don't think I'd try to get them to run any slower than that for any reason, but they did did good job at that low velocity range. We have that starting to open up at about an inch and seven eighths, real similar to that lower velocity, maybe just a little bit quicker. We've got two and a half inches to well, that better part of that permanent wound cavity carries to the 13 inch mark, but the really good portion of that is from three inches to nine and three eighths. Leading edge of that core is 24 and 7 eighths with the better portion of that permanent wound cavity because of the way the the pedals pedaled off tearing it's torn on all sides of the block so you're a good healthy five inches overall seems to be a pretty good bullet That one was going 2,568 feet per second. And I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these chunks. And I have one of these loaded up in the 300 PRC. I'm going to flip these blocks and shoot that. That 
next one will be this, that just for fun round out of the 300 PRC. And that definitely dumped a little bit of energy, destroying my table and everything. And I can see where it curved down and blew down through my table. Because I hit a little bit low, so again, shits and giggles. Let's flip these around. I got one more of those I can shoot. support under these guys. That last one went hit at 3,309 feet per second. Let's see if I can get a little better shot placement on this block. Kind of hard to tell some of what's going on there. That one definitely hit higher. Core went through both blocks, but you have at those velocities it opening up almost instantaneously, but still carrying good permanent wound cavity almost completely through that first block. So those speeds are definitely not too high. Um, but overall, I'm fairly impressed with it. What that bullet did, that one's going 3,380 feet per second. So I don't think you have to worry about moving these too fast. Keep them over 1,500 feet per second. That's going to be one heck of a good dump of where they are, antelope and deer. And I don't think I'd hesitate to use those on elk either. Overall, good performing bullet. Hope you guys enjoy the video.